Hi and thank you for joining me for today's process video and today I'm using the new Vicky boot in Bold and Bright. I've got the project pad, the 6x12 foam stickers and the papery pack and I pulled this paper from the um, project pad and thought it would be absolutely perfect to use with this photo of myself and Leanne when we went to Cheshire Oats the other day. Um, this joy sign I scrapped a couple of weeks ago, the kids <laughs> in front of it and when I saw it I said to Leanne let's get a quick selfie. So I've pulled out some of the pieces from the papery pack and I'm using those to layer behind my photo. So th there's this lovely pink piece, the blue piece with the tag already on it, which is perfect for me to add my date to. And then this um, black piece that says take note that I thought would work nicely with the three. So I'm just layering them up. I do um, faff a little bit because the problem is I layer something up and then when I move them, <laughs> I can't remember how I've layered them. So I'm just pulling them apart here to add that a little bit closer to that tab. I felt it was a, um, the, the layers were a little bit too far apart. So just bringing that take note piece in now and then I can tack that down and then start bringing other things in. Now I did have a little play with this before I started, but this layout came together so, so quickly. Um, the paper did most of the work because I didn't have to do any um, mixed media and things on the background and the ephemera pieces in Vicky Booting's collections are just me. They just seem to work for me, they're perfect. So I pulled out this washi tape piece, which is almost like um, upside down rainbows I'm not sure if that's what it's meant to be <laughs> or it's supposed to be the other way around and it would have been correct rainbows but I've used it as a border piece at the bottom of my photo almost as a shelf to hold that on and then I also cut from our bumpy borders dies at Hey Little Magpie just a black bumpy border to add as another layering piece over the top of that washi tape I've also pulled out you can see a few bits and pieces I've got that lovely circle that says lifetime smiles guarantee forever and always and um, a ticket a heart this little paint swatch that says sunshine on my shoulder just some really nice pieces to go with it and then that washi tape piece at the bottom that says today was dot 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 so I'm going to stick some of the washi tape pieces down as washi tape others I'm going to keep with their backing on because I like the stark white of having the background on you can see with that one once you peel the backing off it does sort of fade into the background a little bit more sometimes I like that look sometimes I want it to pop so I do do that title um, and then I will do the leaf that's next to it you can see me doing that now and also those rainbows but the heart piece which I've got as a layering piece to the left of me in the photo I'm going to keep on the backing piece so there's that leaf going down I just want to make sure that it's going to be behind that circular piece and um, just so that everything touches and there's continuity in the layering that I've got going on so here goes the rainbows or arches <laughs> whatever they're supposed to be so I'm just popping those down and then I'll pull out the bumpy border and add that on top. And that works as a fantastic shelf for everything else to sit on. So just using my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive to get that stuck down and then I can carry on. There we go. So I want it to um, go a little bit further than the rainbows on the right hand side. And on the left actually it's going to be covered by all the ephemera so I wasn't too worried about that bit. So just making sure that I'm happy with the positioning of the photo and I want the bumpy border to finish just before the corner of the photo. I just like the look of that. And now I can start layering these pieces. So starting with that heart and then the lovely floral bits. I think these florals, yes, they are from the papery. I was just feeling them to see. I didn't think I'd taken the ephemera pack, but you know, when you sort of think, oh, the papery pieces in this Vicky Booty in Bold and Bright, I would definitely recommend getting them. They will work with so many collections, not just with hers. So just slowly working my way around and getting these bits stuck down. Um, I want that circle to be over that leaf as I mentioned before so I have to pull that ticket down a little bit so the bottom of that is tucked under the circle and then I'm going to add that paint swatch at a different angle just so that you can read the colour name because it says um, sunshine on my shoulder and I just really like that for the photo of me and Leanne and then this paint splotch I thought about adding it to the blue but I knew it would just disappear on that and actually it works really nicely on the um, lined paper there at the top. So now I'm going to work on my title. I want to use the word magic from these adventurous 
um, puffy stickers from Paige Taylor Evans. This is her new collection. This is all I've got from the collection so far. It was actually a faulty sticker pack. One of the letters was missing, so I couldn't sell it in the shop, which is Hey Little Magpie. So I just kept it for myself. <laughs> I'm still undecided. Of course, I want the collection, but I'm trying not to grab too much and just use what I've got. So it's very hard, but I have to be disciplined because I've only got a very small space here to store things so <laughs> I've already expanded rather a lot recently so I need to be very careful so just getting those letters stuck down I'm going to offset them slightly against one another and I will come in with some glue and stick those down properly after I've finished recording because um, they do have a tendency to peel off over time I also had a, that little gold arrow I just thought that was really sweet and then I'm coming in with the foam stickers from the Vicky Booting collection and just going to add a couple of scattering pieces I thought about bringing in that sunglasses pair but I'm going to save that for another day so a couple of hearts there and then some stars around the word magic bottom here. Once I've done this I'm going to do my journaling which will go underneath the photo. So I'm just using my T-square ruler to add some pencil lines and then I can come in with my black gel pen and add that and then once again unfortunately the camera stopped filming. I was so close to finishing but I just wanted to show you here at the top I added that green and yellow butterfly and on the left I added that um, purple camera and that's the layout done. I hope I've provided some inspiration. I hope you like my layout and um, do like and subscribe if you do otherwise I shall see you soon. Bye.